Also at the Capitol this week, legislative budget panels are wrapping up their first draft of the state's $10 billion two-year budget. One of the big areas for spending is the Corrections Department and the courts in Montana. MTN's Mike Dennison tells us the status of those budgets and the bigger picture as well. The State Corrections Department had a nearly $4 million cost overrun this year and asked for another 3.5% increase over the next two years. But a joint appropriations subcommittee examining its budget voted Monday to keep the biennial increase at 1.6%. Panel Chairman Matt Regeer, a Republican state representative from Columbia Falls, said lawmakers hope criminal justice reform passed in 2017 will start showing savings in corrections. It is an increase, not near the increase that was asked for. It's more in line with, with an inflationary increase. Yeah. The panel also scaled back by almost one-third the $12.5 million increase requested by the Office of Public Defender, whose budget has been steadily growing since its inception a dozen years ago. Here again, lawmakers expect sentencing reforms could help slow this budget growth. Once those bills start taking effect. It takes a little while for those to go, but the hope is then that that ripple effect will hit out even to OPD and, and save in the future uh, caseload growth. The longer discussion on this item Monday was whether cities and counties should pay more to support public defenders. Senator Ryan Osmondson of Buffalo said local governments sometimes pass and enforce laws leading to more criminal cases. There are some challenges that we have with ordinances being passed by local cities that are costing the state and uh, all stakeholders do need to have, as they say, skin in the game so that um, all stakeholders are trying to watch the costs. The committee requested a bill that could change local contributions, but members said the bill may just ask for a study of the issue that reports back to the 2021 legislature. The panel also approved state funding for drug treatment courts in Helena and Polson. But this is just the first step in crafting the budget. The huge public health budget has its first votes on Tuesday, and we'll have more details on the overall plan later this week. At the Capitol, Mike Dennison, MTN News. Thanks so much, Mike. Now, these initial subcommittee recommendations go to the full House Appropriations Committee for a vote next month.